All right, man, what is up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video, and today we have our final footies prediction video before we actually get into the footies promotion. Today is Tuesday. We get the footies promotion on Wednesday from EA, along with maybe some, like, best of team of the weeks, best of past promos like the the future stars one in my opinion would be a cool one to see um but yeah man that is going to be dropping tomorrow today is the final footies prediction video i hope we do get some of these cards because these cards actually look amazing if you guys look on the thumbnail but if you guys could drop a like on this video man can we hit 25 you guys have been killing it i think we've got, like, gotten like 30 and 40 on the past ones if we can get 25 on this one that would be great uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here for some more prediction videos and just footies content in general as fifa is winding down now make sure you turn your notifications on, on as well uh, so you guys can be the first ones on these videos and share this video with your friends because i'm pretty sure they would want to know what kind of footies we're going to get so you guys can get hyped along with them as well but we're going to get straight into this we have i think five players to share uh with you guys that i think might be released and we are going to start off so I think it's this and then this. So there we go. Ignore the goalkeepers, by the way. Those are from the past. And shout out to the guys uh, right here that have their at there because they kind of helped out with the past videos, even though I didn't really tell them. But you know what? We're going to keep going. We have Anthony Martial on the left-hand side. So Anthony Martial, 91 rated. Now, why is he a flashback? Because we're flashing back to when he was a footies card, which was last year. So EA have this kind of thing where they're like, we're going to do a flashback for a player that was literally released less than a year ago. So, Anthony Martial, 91 rated left mid with those crazy good stats. Yes, please. He would be amazing. He already has an inform and a foot birthday, I believe it is, which is a striker, which is 87 rated. But a 91 left mid Martial would actually be as he would be the same rating as his footies card from last year. The only thing with the footies um, that I just remembered right now on the spot is that they don't have dynamic images, which is kind of annoying, kind of sucks. I really hope they do give them dynamic images, though. Um, just I, I i think it makes the cards look way better i'm pretty sure most of you guys do agree with me but 91 rated martial would be a flashback spc flashing back uh to the footies now i was going to include players like bakayoko um and then haken uh Chalhanoglu, who are two players who actually had flashback uh sorry they had who had footies and who we could see as flashback spcs but i forgot to include them in the midfielders video from yesterday so someone like bakayoko um one that we all know and love of course from last year if you guys played fifa 18 um he could be getting a flashback card as well uh which would be very cool we have seen ea do that a lot um for the flashback cards uh during like team of the season uh they did it during carnival i believe and for birthday stuff like that so we could be getting a flashback martial we already we also have one more flashback uh by the way so we're gonna get into that one in just a sec but that is the first one and the second card we do have is felipe anderson now this card he should have gotten a team of the season, but he didn't. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I guess there were just other players that did a little bit better than him. Um, even though he had like two, three and four, he got an upgrade from an 82 to an 84 rated card. He had a once to watch, which is I believe 87, if not 88 rated. And I upgraded this card to a 93 rated left mid, man. Those stats look amazing. I think he has four star, four star. He might have three star weak fit. I'm not too sure. I know Martial has three-star weak fit, um, but Felipe Anderson is a bit like more agile, shorter, uh, just a fun player to use. And he's Brazilian from the Prem, so he's going to be easy to link uh, with other leagues. Not many that great strong links unless you have like team of the season Declan Rice, unless you have headliners Arnautovic. Uh, Felipe Anderson is just going to be a great left wing in the Prem. We already have a bunch of great left wings in the Prem, but man, this card's going to be so good, so fun to play with, so high rated, and I mean, why wouldn't you want to use him? Um, so yeah, Felipe Anderson is kind of kind of making up for his, uh, making up for his um, not inclusion for his absence from team of the season uh, i should say because we obviously didn't get him in there then we're gonna go to the right hand side and we're gonna start off with chucky lozano now lozano should have gotten a team of the season didn't get into the team of the season didn't get a team of the season svc or team of the season moments svc Castro was very mad. A lot of people are very angry and frustrated. This card has been absolutely incredible for the past couple years. He had a, a footies card last year. It was a striker, I believe it is. Now, this card would be crazy, crazy good. It's a little late into the game now, I'm not going to lie. Um, but having him earlier in the game would have been cool. Like last year, we had two informs of his, even three 
where he would get subbed on all the time and absolutely destroy us. So having Irving Lozano, who actually is linked with Napoli, would be very cool. Now, I don't think if this card is released a bit later into the footies promo, I'm not too sure how long it's going to run. If this card's released a bit later, then that's going to mean that he might complete his transfer to Napoli because he's linked with Napoli. So having him transfer to Napoli would actually be great uh, because then you can get strong links with players like Manolas and Koulibaly. But if he is at PSV, people are just going to sub him on and stuff like that. But nonetheless, he's going to be such a fun card to use. And he just looks insane, man. He has four star, four star. I mean, I feel like that physical boost will really boost his jumping and like his finishing and heading and all that stuff and his strength. So I feel like this guy is going to be super, super overpowered. Um, he already has a headliners, but that didn't really get upgraded after um, he did go ahead and uh, uh, was released, whatever. So final player we do have is another flashback. We have Romaine Alessandrini. Now, this card is such a throwback to last year it's a flashback it's a throwback flashback to last year i love this card everyone loves this card everyone loved this card i should say he has a gold card of course this year he has a team of the season, team of the season. he has a league sbc um as well it's a purple card 85 rated he's not that good he lacks a little bit in finishing is not isn't the strong as the players he's a little short but that's not what he's known for last year he was known for being fast agile like a messy like player with uh, just like four star skills and he was just so good um and having this card be released would be perfect because he's french he gets strong link to flashback eber put him them put them both in the four three two one flashback eber up top flashback alison jr at right wing and then you are good just one french player in the midfield and you are perfect man i want this card so bad to be in the game and i, I feel like the fifa community would be just enthralled I, th I think that's the right way to use that word enthralled to have a card like this in the game in my opinion if I had to choose one of these four to be released as just an SBC, I would pick Alessandro Trini in a heartbeat, man. He's LA Galaxy. I'm a supporter of LA Galaxy. I wouldn't call myself a hardcore fan. I don't watch all their games. I don't go to all their games and stuff like that. But I'm a fan of LA Galaxy. I like seeing them do well. I live in their city, of course. Uh, but yeah, Galaxy, Alessandro Trini would be a cool flashback to see. And in my opinion, it would make a lot of people happy. So make it happy, EA, please. And then the final player we do have, the big player, the one that we've all been waiting for, for me to talk about, for me to pop up. Where is he? Why isn't he fitting into the four? Whatever and stuff like that. You guys see him in the thumbnail. You guys see him in the title. And you guys, that's why clicked on this video man we're gonna click on him right now gareth bale 95 rated he has a uh what's it called he has a ucl card a gold card he has a team of the group stage um he has a team of the year nominee and then he has a foot birthday is he gonna get this card i don't know <laughs> i don't know just like pogba yesterday i feel like ea kind of owe us something big uh to give us just at the end of the year so we can put them into our end game teams now gareth bale co could come in the form of a player in packs he could come in the form as of an sbc which would be ridiculously expensive but this card would just be amazing it would be so much fun to play with it would be so good in game like nearly all 90 stats apart from his defending uh which is still pretty decent for a winger of course he used to be a left back back then but this card as, as as just a footies would be crazy good. Now, I'm basically done with this video, but I want to kind of talk about a couple of things. Now, all these cards, you see Alison Trini, right wing. Martial, left wing, uh, or left mid, left mid, Felipe Anderson, right wing, Irving Lozano, and then right wing, Gareth Bale. Literally any of these cards could be central cards. We can have a Cam Felipe Anderson, a Cam Alessandrini, a Striker Bill, a CDM Bill, <laughs> a Striker Martial. We could see any of these things happen. Now, a Striker Alessandrini, in my opinion, would, would would not be fun. I would I wouldn't like that. Um, we're gonna transition over here, by the way. Now for now, that's me right there, by the way. Kind of like ah, but. Having these cards would just be so good. This is the thumbnail, by the way, in the background. I just want to put it on. I feel like it looks nicer. Um, but, man, I'm just saying, any of these cards could be strikers. Any of these cards could be wingers. I don't know. It's up to EA. They literally can do whatever they want. I would say you need to keep, I think, Alison Genie on the wing. Martial, if you if you flash them back to if you flash them back to their footies cards, if you're doing a flashback SBC, and if you choose to do these two players, which are French wingers, Keep them as wingers, don't do them as forwards or strikers, whatever I want to say. 
because they were released as wingers in their in, in in when they were released. So last year in FIFA 18, they were right wings, and then Martial was a left mid. Felipe Anderson and Lozano do whatever you want. Lozano was a striker, so he could be a striker, and then Gareth Bale, in my opinion, should be a right winger because we already have a striker Gareth Bale in his foot birthday card. But yeah, guys, this is well in the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much. For, thank you guys so much for watching. Footies is tomorrow. We'll be bringing out a video for you guys when that does come out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video of this day. And I'm out.